What's up everyone, this is Jason with Average Nobodies, and I want to thank you for joining me on another episode of the Monday Indie Spotlight. Today we're going to be playing Schrodinger's Cat and the Raid of the Lost Quark. This is a, a, a puzzling platformer for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Um, you collect these the little quarks that you can combine in, in various ways to uh, use them to your benefit. So you can use them like a, a helicopter, platforms, to blow barriers out of your way. And if you happen to spend the quarks and you miss your target, you lose them. Uh, which is why, you see, I just had a restart from the checkpoint there. And each, each section has a, an exit that you need to get to. And usually you need to spend your quarks wisely and, and just right to get to that point. Um, and just moments ago I tried to go straight for the exit with the four or five quarks you get right off the bat and you don't have enough for what you need. Uh, so in order to leave you need to go further into the maze uh, to collect more quarks and spend more quarks to blow barriers to get just enough so you can make it on your way out. And I'll be honest, when, when I sat down to start playing this, I didn't know what to think. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, my son, who's eight, he has just been in love with this game. Uh, I didn't really know what to think, or what he'd think of the the quark system and, and you know, collecting them to use them um, and, and how that works and um, he took to it faster than I did and he's been having a great time uh, so it's definitely one worth picking up uh, to, to give a shot I'm hoping to dig into the game a little more this week uh, get another hour or so under my belt and uh, form a full opinion on what I think and uh, get a review together for the end of this week beginning of next week so definitely keep a, an eye out for it. And, uh, yeah, so far it's it's been a lot of fun and it's worth checking out. should name a constant after me. <laughs> eh? Well, I do believe he's trying to help. That's so... adorably heroic. Still, while I hate the idea of giving him the benefit of the doubt, logic would dictate... Ahem. Do what you can to slow him down if you don't mind. If you need me, you know where to find me. And now I'm in a completely new area of the game, uh, running into a new sort of bad guy creature here in the quark zoo. Uh, they're devouring my quarks as I go, so it's another area where you've got to make it through and collect more than you probably need or you think you need, uh, just so you can actually have the tools to get to the 
to the exit. Spectacular! Thanks again for joining me on this episode of the Monday Indie Spotlight. 
That was Schrodinger's cat in the Raiders of the Lost Quark. Be sure to check us out tomorrow for another episode of Terrifying Tuesday. You guys have a great day. Again, be sure to check us out on Twitter at AverageNobodies and AverageNobodies.com. See you guys later.